Hello and welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how you could slide in and out widgets uh, into the viewport. So for example, here we can select an actor and by selecting it, we have this widget sliding in and out. Okay, so first thing we need to do is when we click a button, we want to go to the interface mode. So we want to have a UI widget being added to, to, to the viewport. Now I have created two widgets. So one is the UI widget, which is just an empty canvas panel. And I have created another widget, which I have called it sliding panel. So this is the panel which would slide in and out and I just added a button to it. And in the UI widget, I have added this sliding panel as a child of the canvas. And I'm just gonna put it somewhere outside there. So what's gonna happen is when we do something, we want this to slide in, and then on doing something, let's want this to slide out. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is, uh, we're gonna go to our third person character, and by pressing Z, we want to see the mouse cursor, so we're kind of going into the UI mode. And we want to add the, the UI widget to the viewport. So we're going to create widget, and UI widget, and we're gonna add it to viewport. Okay, so this step is done. Then when we when we click on an actor, what we want to happen is for a panel to slide down. So we go here on the left mouse button event, and when an actor is detected, we want to do something. We want to send a message for the panel to slide in. So what we're gonna do here is get all widget of class. It doesn't have, it should not be a top level only. And our sliding panel is sliding panel widget. And since there's only one, we can just get a copy. And here we want to now send a message out. So what I'm going to do is I want this to happen in the hot. So I'm gonna create a blueprint interface. Blueprint interface, and I'm gonna call it slide panel. Open it. And I'm gonna rename this to slide panel. Now I'm going to add two inputs to it and you would know why. So one is a Boolean and this basically tells whether we want the panel to slide in or out. Now if it's true, it slides in. If it's false, it's gonna slide out. And we also want to pass on the widget that uh, we want to be to slide in. Uh, so I'm just gonna search for user widget. You could do this manually, but if you want to do it for different widgets, then it's better to pass it on as a variable here which I'm going to do it for, for a more generic uh, approach to this. Okay, so now we have our blueprint interface. Now that's good, we can close this, we don't need this anymore. And let's go back to our third person character. Okay, so now here I'm going to send this message out. Actually, this is not the target, this should be the widget. And the target is, oops, sorry. Get prior character. Sorry, get player controller. And get on. This will be the target. So anytime I click on an actor, I'm sending this message out. Okay, so now let's go to the HUD. This is the HUD of this level. And I'm going 
to go to class settings and add an interface here. I want to add the slide panel interface and it comes up here and I'm going to implement the function. Okay, so now here is what you want to happen when we select an actor. So first thing is we want to check whether we're going in or out. And next thing is, since we want to animate this, we want to create a timeline. So add timeline. And if we are sliding in, we want to play from start. If we're sliding out, we want to reverse from end. Okay, I'm going to open the timeline and I want this whole thing to take 0.2 seconds. I want this to be really quick. And I would add a float function here and call it layer. So I want to go from zero to one. Now I'm going to add a couple of points here. So let's just zoom in. Uh, so let's add a key here. One at the beginning, one probably somewhere here, and one when we finish. So this one, we want this to be Time zero, value zero. This one wants to be at time 0 0.2 and value one. And this one want to be at time, let's say 0 0.12 and value 0 0.8, something like this. And I'm just going to change these to break because it gives a smoother way. I'm gonna make it look like this. So it accelerates and then slows down. And this should be a good one. So just save it, close this, and now we can set the position of our widget. Okay, so from the widget, I'm going to get slot as canvas and get the position. I will split the structure. And I want to set the position. Set position on update. Okay, so I, I'm not changing the x value, so I'm gonna keep the x value because I only wanted to slide in and out vertically, right? So I don't need to change the x value. Now, for the y value, we need to add some numbers here. So we want to have a starting position and end position. I'm going to add these two as variables here. So start position. And it will be a float. And then end position. Just gonna get them. Okay, so remember that lerp goes from zero to one. Now, what I want to do is, I want to subtract the end position from the start position. And I want to multiply this by lerp. And then add it to the start position. And that would be my updated position. So what's happening here is when we begin, lerp is zero. So zero is multiplied by this number, which is zero, and is added to the start position. So that would be the start position. And when the timeline is at one, which is the, the finishing one, we have one multiplied by end position minus start position. And 
eventually added to the start position. So we have end minus start plus start, which is equal to the end. So this, this function works well. Now we also want to do uh, a validation check on the widget because if it's not there, we don't want to keep getting a bunch of errors. Okay, I'm just gonna make this look a little bit better. Okay, so before we do anything, we have to fill in these numbers. So if I go to the UI widget here, this has a position of y equals about uh, minus 320. And we want to we want this to slide down somewhere, let's say here. So let's say, let's say from minus 300 to 300. So for the starting position, I'm going to put minus 300. And for the end position, I'm going to put 300. Okay, so now let's play what happens. Just before that, I'm going to check if thing is happening correctly here. Okay, so this thing we want to check. We want to slide in when we select an actor. And I'm going to copy and paste this here. And this is when we click off. So on clicking off, we want this to go back. So I'm going to uncheck this. Okay, so let's go here now. I'm gonna press Z, now I'm in the UI mode. I click on this actor, it comes down. I click off, it goes back. Nice and smooth. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have a great day. Bye-bye.